Well, hello there, folks, and a very warm welcome, as usual, back to What's For Tea. And it's lovely to see you all. So today for you, I've got a very highly requested video. I've been asked to do this so, so many times. So here we have it, the Deep Fried Mars Bar, a Scottish classic, or is it? You know, what started as a joke or novelty item has become really, really popular, and it comes in at a whopping 900 calories per bar. But if you don't care about your calorie intake or your arteries, you might want to give this a go because it's actually really, really delicious. Perfect with ice cream. You know, it's very, very indulgent. But why not, you know, half this with somebody just to give it a go because they're really easy to make as well. The recipe that I'm going to show you, you'll make about four or six Mars bars from the batter. So it really just depends on how many you want to make. But if you're only going to do the one, I would really reduce the amount of ingredients that you're going to need, you know, half the flour at least, because like I said, this recipe will give you enough batter to deep fry as many Mars bars as you like. So it's a very, very simple recipe. You don't need many ingredients at all. So let me go and show you what I'm using. So this is everything that I used here, but like I said, the batter will give you enough for about four to six Mars bars. So I've got some plain flour or all-purpose flour. I've got vegetable oil, bicarbonate of soda. I've got some milk there and also some corn flour. And that's everything that you're going to need apart from your Mars bars, like I said. I'm just going to show you one or two just to show you how to do it. But you can use as many Mars bars as you like. So go over to your cooker and I'm going to put my vegetable oil into my pan. And I'm going to get this up to a really you know, a really, really high heat so that it fries nicely. While that's getting nice and warm, I'm going to combine my dry ingredients. So I've got my flour and then I'm going to add my corn flour to this. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and that's going to help lighten up your batter just a wee bit. Not that it matters, but that's what that does. Give that a good stir together just to make sure everything is well combined. And then you just want to add enough milk to bring this to a nice batter. You want it thick enough so that it sticks to your Mars bars, but not thin enough where it's going to run off. You know, you do want this to stick to your Mars bar. When you get a nice ribbon effect on the top, you're ready to go. So just drop your Mars bar in and then I'm just going to use tongs just to pick this up to let you see. You know, it's nice and thick. It's not too thick. You can still see the Mars bar, but it's not all sliding off. So this is ideal. A kind of pancake batter consistency. I'm going to check my oil by throwing in a wee bit of bread so I know my oil is hot enough to fry. So just hold your Mars bar there for a couple of seconds, you know, because you don't want to drop your wet Mars bar in there and the, the batter may stick to the bottom of your pan. So you just want to let this fry all over. I'm going to hold this underneath just for a few seconds, just to make sure it's getting nice and golden all the way around. And don't worry if you get any chocolate leakage, because that will happen. You just cannot avoid that. But when your Mars bars are nice and golden, lift them out and then drain them on some kitchen towel. And it should be looking something like this. And I was really pleased with this one, actually. The batter has stuck to this, probably about 98%. So I was happy with this one. And it should be nice and crispy as well, as you can hear. You know, it shouldn't be soggy. And I'm just going to serve this with some vanilla ice cream and some chocolate sauce as well. So the ice cream, and that's that Mars bar there. It has cooled down a wee bit, so I can pick this one up just to show you. And then just a wee drizzle of chocolate and caramel sauce. And this is what it's like inside. Although it's been cooling down for quite a few minutes, it's still lovely and runny. You know, the nougat and the chocolate and the caramel is all melted in there. And it is wonderful. If you're in the States, you know, I think these are actually called Milky Way Bars. I don't think they're called Mars Bars in the States. So you might want to look for a Milky Way Bar instead. But do let me know if you're planning and giving that one a go. Like I said, not for you if you're watching your calories. But yeah, nice as a wee treat. And a huge thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page, to the channel members here on YouTube as well, for those that have bought me a coffee using the Buy Me A Coffee link. And for you all for watching, you know, leaving your comments and for those that share the videos as well. It's all very much appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you do like videos like this, please consider subscribing just before you go. I make two or three videos every week, so I will be back, you know, rather soon. But until I see you again, guys, mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Take care. Bye now.